Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently, as posted, Microsoft started rolling out this year's annual feature update to version 23H2. And as I mentioned yesterday in a video, which I'll leave down below, a lot of users, including myself, were not seeing the update made available on Windows Update and on the Windows Update page, which is quite common because um, these feature updates are pushed out using a controlled staggered approach. And if you were not seeing it, like myself, as mentioned in that video, which will be down below, you could just head over to Microsoft's website where you could download Windows 11, the 2023 update, version 23H2, manually. Now, it has come to my attention in the comments uh, since posting yesterday that a lot of users, when using the media creation tool um, to upgrade to version 23H2, are still seeing version 22h2 so it's not actually upgrading you your version is staying exactly the same now microsoft has acknowledged this issue over on twitter so that's the reason i'm posting just to clear up a little bit of confusion and microsoft has said on twitter answering a question regarding this issue and i'm quoting there's a package size optimization underway for 23h2 with mct rough eta which stands for estimated time of arrival is a couple of weeks and then they put that ETA around about the 11th to the 15th of November. So give or take, there's the 11th, there's the 15th. You've got about 10 days to two weeks or so. If you are wanting to upgrade to version 23H2 using the media creation tool, you've got about 10 days to two weeks to wait for that to be actually changed to 23H2, which I find um, quite surprising because here at the top of the page, Microsoft has already said that these options include this year's annual feature update version 23h2 so if you want to do a clean install on your device to the feature update version 23h2 then for now you are unable to use the media creation tool you'll have to use the image file the iso and um, which is a little bit more of a schlep but nonetheless that's your only option if you want to do a clean install if you are waiting for the 23h2 feature update but if you are upgrading as an example from version 22h2 to version 23h2 as i mentioned yesterday you can use the installation assistant which is your best option over and above installing it through the windows update on your device because obviously windows update is the best option but this is the next best option if it's not available on your device so i just wanted to clear up a little bit of confusion as mentioned um if you are not seeing version 23h2 using the media creation tool it's a problem from microsoft side and that will be rolling out using the media creation tool to version 23h2 over the next two weeks or so so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one